Hey guys, if you've seen my channel before, you know that this wall used to look like this wall. And when I came yesterday, came home yesterday, honey had done this for me. I requested it last Sunday. Today is Thursday morning and ta-da, do I not have the most magical honey? So now it is my job to German schmear this wall. And Honey has been so excited about doing it. And he was so excited for me to come home and be thrilled with it yesterday. Um, here is our buffet that was over there. I'm actually really thinking about painting this, but we'll see. It may, I may not paint this until next year, but we'll see. But, yeah, I'm getting tired of this buffet, and Honey doesn't really want me to switch it out, so painting it may be the way to go. All right, so I'll show you what happens along the way. Okay, guys, here's what I have to work with, and I have these, um, <laughs> I have a ton of these Debbie's Design Diary DIY paints in my stash, like dozens of them, but I didn't have a lot of crinoline which is a creamy color, which is going to match the walls um, that we already have. So I had a little bit of white swan left and I had a little bit more of crinoline. And what I did was I just added a teeny bit of water, mixed it up and I was able to get that much done. So that's what I've done so far. Then I added um, what I had left and the white swan mixed in. Uh-oh. My paintbrush fell over and I got paint on my counter. Fortunately, this paint cleans up really easy. Anyway, I have this much paint to do of the whole wall. I think I'm fine, but I may need to order another quart for the painting after um, the schmear part's done. So, yeah, that's what I've done so far. That took me about 25 minutes. So I better hurry because I want to get more done before I go to work. It's five after seven. Okay. I got the whole wall painted in an hour and 10 minutes. And I'm already liking it better. <laughs> so here I go to schmear the wall. And I only have about... 25 minutes before I have to start getting ready to go. I got my lunch going on the stove. So, um, look, at, look how that looks. That looks kind of cool. Okay, here I go. Okay, guys. So, yesterday I came home. Um, I finished spackling. And I painted the brick um, like a cream color. Um, with the spackle, the spackle goes on white. And we really didn't want white because our walls are cream. So um, once I got the cream on there, it just seemed too bright. And it, it looked like we lost a lot of the brick dimension. So I took another color and I did this. And I the color is Sandy Blonde by DIY Paint. And it's not DIY do-it-yourself. It's a brand of paint. Um, and I did this and I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. <coughs> My idea was that I would make it look aged in certain spots. So you can see the difference. And I'm actually thinking about bringing another shade of, uh, this is kind of like a tan color. And I'm thinking about bringing a more of a brown in and see how that looks. So stick with me and let's see what happens. Okay, I wanted to put the buffet back and the whiskey barrel, <coughs> kind of see how it looked. And Honey just came home and he loves it. I love it too. Um, so <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and 
you know, get everything put back together and do another video and do a quick rundown in that video of the different processes. Okay, guys, here is the finished wall. Let me show you with the, the rustic carpet. Now, <clears throat> we have a shelf, a nice substantial shelf that's going to go here. Well, about... It's about the length of the buffet above it. But, okay, so bottom line, we bought the faux brick from panels from Home Depot. And <clears throat> they're about in the ballpark of $50 a sheet. And I think they are four by eight. Four by eight. Okay. So... First thing Honey did was adhere it to the wall. He used <clears throat> nails instead of screws. Last time we did this in our old house, we used screws, and we didn't like the way they looked. Um, and we didn't want to glue it. So <clears throat> it's nailed. And then um, I did all, I painted all the, what do you call this? With the mortar. I painted that all my cream color. And then I did the schmear. And you can see all the texture that the schmear adds. And it's just wall spackle. Just wall spackle. Now, at the seams, I used more to kind of try to disguise <clears throat> the seams. So here's a seam right here. And when you're up close, you can see it but when you stand back you really can't see the seams okay so then after I did the spackle let it dry I went over all of it with my cream color and we really just lost a lot of dimension with <clears throat> the cream and we could have just left it white with the wall spackle but because our walls are cream we wanted it cream. So I started thinking, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? So I had several different colors of DIY paint, as you saw. And what I did is I kind of just dry brushed certain areas with the Sandy Blonde. And after I did that, it still needed more. So I got out my Dark and Decrepit. <clears throat> and I started adding the darker brown so that's how I got that what I wanted to be a weathered look and fortunately honey came home and he loved it <laughs> so this is just really lightly decorated um, because I'm actually getting ready to start decorating for Christmas in the next week and I just wanted to just kind of give you an idea of what that wall will look like with the furniture kind of against it. I am tickled. I love it. I'm actually, right now, as I'm looking at it, thinking how nice it would be to have a, <coughs> excuse me, have a couch there with two end tables, maybe a lot more like a love seat, with two end tables and still have that shelf above. But <clears throat> we'll see what Honey thinks of that. Because <clears throat> this bay, buffet, although it stores things, um, <clears throat> I don't know, the end tables could be storage. But anyway, we're going to put the Christmas tree right here <clears throat> um, this year. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you loved it. Please tell me in the comments below what you think. I have never seen anybody do this dry brush on the um, the German Schmier wall. So I'm curious what you think. Thanks for watching. Happy scrapping. <laughs> That's my other channel. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.